Tonight we continue our series, What's the Deal? Looking at why the Marquette School District and the teachers unions are at odds when it comes to settling a contract. The school administrators say they don't have enough money to afford what the teachers are asking for. Tonight, TV6's Jennifer Perez finds out if other districts can find themselves in a similar situation. And Jennifer joins us now. Jennifer, I know you spoke to the Nice Community School District about this. I did, and uh, there, while the Nice Community School District is doing well financially, they do have seen tough times with lower funding due to decreasing enrollment. In fact, schools across the state are facing those same issues, which ultimately can have an effect on wage increases for teachers. Over the last decade, Nice Community Schools has seen a steady increase to student enrollment. This year, they'll have 1,200 kids between Westwood High School and the Aspen Ridge School. We also received some good luck in terms of um, an uptick in student numbers where we uh, you know, grew a little bit and as well as some uh, additional funding from the state of Michigan, which is really important to any school district in Michigan, how much the uh, per pupil foundation allowance is. Their per pupil funding is at $7,200 and their budget is at $10.9 million. While the district is doing well, they have also endured tough times. From 2009 to 2011, the district made several administrative cuts and they couldn't afford to give high wage increases to their teachers and support staff. It took them around two months to settle on a contract. Both at the building principal level and in the administrative offices um, in the superintendent's office. So that helped save money in um, personnel costs in terms of salaries and benefits. And then both bargaining unions, both the teachers and the support staff unions, um, took very modest raises. With staffing cuts, modest raises, and saving as much money as possible while maintaining their programs, they've been able to increase their general fund from $80,000 to now $800,000. The district has also been able to achieve that savings by community support through a sinking fund that's helped maintain their buildings. Superintendent Brian DeAugustine says it takes discipline and understanding between all parties during tough economic times. It's just a matter of finding out where the numbers are and what each side can live with. Uh, what can the district afford? What do the teachers feel is fair compensation for the work that they do? And there's always a middle ground in there somewhere. It just takes time, patience, and effort to get it done. Teachers at Nice Community Schools are currently under a three-year contract with a 2% increase each year, plus their step wage increase. Tomorrow, for the final part of our What's the Deal series, we'll hear from two former market teachers who recently quit. Greg. All right, we'll look forward to that. Thanks, Jennifer.